Hello everyone, this is Scott Guider, a.k.a. Gruesome Herzog, and the character of Cephas from the Hillbilly Horror Show, Tentacles, 1977. The original title in Italy, Tentacoli. Awesome film. Here's the storyline. Several people disappear from and at the sea. Their bodies are found gnawed to the skeleton. Even the morrow is missing. Directed by Alvidio G. Asantis. Written by Stephen W. Cabertosus and Tito Carpi. Released June 15th, 1977. Tagline. Each year, 10,000 tourists visit Ocean Beach. This summer, Ocean Beach has, has attracted something else. Here's the cast. John Houston as Ned Turner. Shelley Winters as Tilly Turner, Bill Hopkins as Will Gleason, Henry Fonda as Mr. Whitehead, Alan Boyd as Mike, Claude Aikens as Sheriff Robards, and the cast goes on. Tentacles, 1977. Now I gotta say this, there's one thing that really annoys the fuck out of me, is every time there's a film from Italy where it's a shark whether it's a octopus, whether it's a piranha, it's always been said to be a copycat off of Jaws. Jaws was in 1975, and it's a great film. It's a shark. Tentacles is about an octopus. So stop with the bullshit or anything. It, it could be a freaking shark movie. Like The Last Shark, also known as Great White, an Italian film from 1981. People want to say, it's a mock-off of Jaws. Shut the fuck up. Who cares? It's a movie. Get over yourselves. Obviously, you watched it. Here is a film about an octopus. And I love the cast in this. It's Italian. But you have Shelley Winters and Henry Fonda and John Houston, Bo Hopkins, and my man Claude Aikens, Sheriff Lobo, and also Gorilla in one of the Planet of the Apes movies. I dug this film. I love these films from the 70s when it has to do with movies like Jaws and Jaws 2 and 78 you know, Piranha in 78. I love these underwater killers. This is a unique film because Henry Fonda is the owner of this company and all you see him in the movie is on the phone or at his house. And John Huston plays a reporter. The great John Huston. Shelley Winters I loved as Tilly Turner in here. You know, So what it's about is, in the beginning of the movie, it starts off in the taxi cab with the CB gone, and obviously, radio attracts the octopus. And there's a baby in a carriage along the bank. The mother was there. The mother actually leaves the baby in the stroller, which I found was quite odd, goes across the street to see a friend. Well, obviously, you know what happened. The octopus grabbed the baby. A little disturbing. You know, I mean, mean, for its time in 77, I thought, wow... They're going all out. And then, of course, one by one, people started going missing and found in the water. But nobody really knows how or why they're being killed or what happened to them. Well, eventually, the expert, a great actor, Bo Hopkins, figures it out to be a gigantic octopus. Now, what I find unique about this film is during the same year, you have Orca, the killer whale, which, again, that's been comments like, oh, it's a rip-off of Jaws. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, that's about a killer whale. In this movie, Bo Hopkins has two killer whales in his, you know, in his little, uh, whatever it's called. And, ironically enough, these killer whales were used to take care of the octopus. I found that fascinating. It's a great movie. I quite enjoyed this one. 
I could ramble on and on. It's a phenomenal film. Anyways, that being said, it's a classic from 1977. I enjoyed this. So definitely check it out and look for it. Tentacles, 1977. Well shot, well acted, great storyline. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film an 8 out of 10. I dig the late 70s. I dig underwater killers. Enough said. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.